Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, it really does help. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to book a Disney cruise using the Disney Cruise Line website, and where you can find other information such as special offers on the website. So let's get started. So here we are at the Disney Cruise Line website. You can put in to get here www.disneycruise.com or you can put in the disneycruise.disney.go.com. From this page, you're gonna be able to find everything you need to find out about a cruise. If there's any information that the company is providing, as you can see here, the temporary suspension, it'll be right here on the home page. On the home page, you'll notice the Disney Cruise Line logo, which we're hovering over now. You can click this to return back to this page at any time. Under the Cruise with Disney, you'll find why Cruise with Disney, what's included, awards and honors, and guest testimonials. Under our ships, you're gonna find everything you need to know about what is provided on board the ships in terms of entertainment and all of that sort of great stuff. This is also under the Explore Our Ships where you'll find deck plans for each ship and also information on each of the staterooms. And if you're interested in a cruise that is themed such as a Marvel Day at Sea, Star Wars, Halloween or the Christmas cruises, information on this will be found there as well. Destinations is exactly as you would imagine. You can take a look at where they cruise to and also you'll see under the shore excursions towards the bottom there under the port adventures, you'll be able to see the port adventures that's typically offered in each port of call. As we make our way to plan a cruise, the most important link on this is gonna be special offers, which we're gonna talk about later on. And then under the next tab, you're gonna see the already booked tab. This is gonna be if you have a cruise already, you'll be able to see the my reservations, make a payment, and book and manage your cruise activities. We're not gonna look at the cruise activities, but if you haven't booked through a travel agent, you book directly through Disney Cruise through their website or over the phone, then you'll be able to see how much is due and make payments there. At the very top is where you can log in, and also if you're somewhere else, for example in the UK or in Europe, you can change the currency to US dollars or euros. Under the special offers tab, this is where you will find any promotion. So for example, you can see Florida residents, US military rates, and there are certain requirements for these. But if you go ahead and click on them, then you'll be able to see what they're currently offering. They do also have a promotion if you open up a Disney Visa card. But let's go ahead and click on the special rates for the military. Under this, you're gonna be able to see that you can click on the book now button but one of the things you'll want to look at is what they currently have available. So you can see that right now they have for select 2021 savings, the three or four nights they have various uh, promotions for that rate. And you can see the dates and also the category and it'll give you an idea of pricing. Keep in mind that these promotions are typically last minute and they're not something that are very far out. So for example, if you're looking, if you're in January of 2021 like we're in now and you're looking for a promotion that's going to be January for 2022, it's highly unlikely there's going to be a promotion. Typically, these types of promotions are for within the next five to six months. And then you would just click on the book now if you want to go ahead and uh, book one of those. But we're going to click on that Disney Cruise Line logo and go back. And this is where you're going to be able to start selecting information to book a cruise. So back on the home page at the top, you'll be able to see various options you can select. You can do them in any order based on what you're trying to do. So for example, if you're looking to sail to a particular location or a particular sailing, then you can do it in a different order. The leaving section or any date is going to be the months that have currently been released. So you can see right now, there is up until May 2022. You could select one month or you can select multiple months, but this is for the month, it's not the date of sailing. So if you wanna sail, say for example, in January, February, March, or April, you wanna sail in any of those months, then you would select all of them. If you know the specific month you want to sail, then you would just select that one month. 
you can then click on the sailing to and based on the months that you've selected you can see where the cruise sails to so in that month you can see that they just have cruises to the Caribbean and to the Bahamas everything else is currently grayed out if you wanted to widen your search so for example let's say you wanted to go to a different location but you don't know when they sail just uncheck the month and you'll see they all become available and then you can select for example Bermuda Kiruses and then you'll see September and October are highlighted there so those are the months that Disney Cruise Lines sail to that location if you're looking to sell elsewhere you can just go ahead and deselect that let's take a look at Europe for instance and then you can go back to leaving the dates and it will show you May, June, July, August, September are the dates that they're going to be sailing to Europe so you can see that you're able to select from those the other dates are all greyed out let's go ahead and go back to sailing to and uncheck um, keep that checked but let's also maybe look at a different location so let's change that from Europe. We're going to go to the Caribbean cruises and Bahamas. Disney Cruise Lines sail to those two locations all year round. So you can see there's nothing that's grayed out. All of those are available. We're going to go ahead and deselect that because we want to do a Caribbean cruise. Again, it's all available. And we're going to go ahead and select February. Now at this time of year, it shows the ports that uh, Disney Cruise Lines sail from. So you can see Miami, New Orleans and Port Canaveral. We want to sail from Port Canaveral, so we'll select that. And then you can see more filters. If you don't know their itineraries, then you can also filter based on the length of sailing, uh, whether you'd like to do a holiday cruise, or if you know which ship you'd like to go on, then you can also select that. So there's a number of additional ways that you can filter out how you wish to sail. Next to that, you're going to see the number of guests. So let's go ahead and select that. It's gonna automatically default to two adults, and you can see accessible staterooms. So if you need an accessible room, you would select that. It's then gonna give you some information which states that you may need to provide some information. You would then click on understand, and then that would allow you to see only the accessible staterooms. But we don't want an accessible stateroom, so we're gonna leave that. Now here is where you would put in the number of guests. So for example, if you've got two adults and two children, you would then select the number of children and then the ages of the children. And that's gonna be the ages at the time that you're sailing. So the day that you embark the ship. So let's go ahead and just put in 10 years old. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in five years old for the second child. What you'll notice towards the bottom left is also an add another stateroom button. So let's say for example, you're gonna be taking grandma and grandpa with you and you want to be able to select the second stateroom, then you would just click on that. And then again, you would select the two adults if you're taking grandma, grandpa, or if you're going with friends, then you would put the number of adults, number of children in. We're not doing that, so let's take that out. Let's say for example, you've got three children. If you select three children and then the age of the children, it's gonna show you the staterooms that can accommodate those amount of guests. It won't show you a stateroom that can only accommodate four guests. It'll show you staterooms that can accommodate five guests. Now, if you're a larger family, let's say, for example, two adults and four children, for most of the ships, if you're go unless you're gonna go for some of the concierge staterooms, you'll need to split down between two staterooms. So one way to do this would be to select one adult and two children in each stateroom. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna add a second stateroom and put one adult and two children. And then you would put the ages of the children at the time of sailing. And then as you go through the process, which we'll go through in a moment, you'll then be able to see the various, um, what's available in terms of staterooms and if there's any connecting statements, and we'll show you how to see that. We're not gonna do that though. We're gonna remove that stateroom. We're gonna put just two adults because it's just gonna be the two of us sailing. And let's go ahead and click on view cruises. This is now gonna pull up all the cruises that are gonna be going to the Caribbean from Port Canaveral in that month. So we can see that there's four cruises available. If we scroll down, it'll show you, as you can see there in the green, all prices include taxes, fees, and port expenses. And then you can see here, there's a seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise from Port Canaveral. It's going to go ahead and you can also see at the top the filters that have been applied, so just so you can confirm. You can then see under each of these blocks, it's going to give you the starting price. It's going to give you the itinerary, what's included. There's a rate details button there and you can scroll down and see what is available. 
Those blue buttons have the dates. So for example, keep in mind one itinerary, like the one at the top here, it says two dates. That itinerary is gonna be sailed to twice in that month. Rate details will allow you to see what the starting price is uh, by stateroom category. Keep in mind each stateroom category then has subcategories which are essentially based on the desirability of location on board the ship. But you can see here the starting price for those and in a moment we'll scroll down and you'll be able to see the price based on per guest then the total taxes fees and port expenses and then the total stateroom price. You can also see click on what's uh, included and then there's other additional information here. Keep in mind at this point, it's not going to give you the breakdown of when pricing is gonna be due, the deposit, all of that sort of thing. It's still searching for cruises right now. So that you won't be able to see that until you add it to your cart. It's still before you have to make any payment or, or are, um, are locked into anything, uh, but at, it, you won't be able to view that information until you add it to the cart. So let's go ahead and back out of rate details and then just click on what's included. I don't want to spend too much time going through these, but basically you can see here what's included in the extras. It's not going to give you the pricing on the extras, but for example here, the high, we've got highlighted entertainment and activities. The only things really that are charged for there are things like the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique or the Royal Court Royalty um, and also the virtual simulators. For dining, you can see the vast majority of things are included with the exception of, for example, bottled water, alcoholic drinks or specialty drinks, gratuities, and of course, adult dining. And then here, the only thing for the kids clubs that you would pay for is the It's a Small World Nursery. If you've got a little one that's aged three, uh, six months to three years old and uh, they're not potty trained. So you can see some information here, but you'll be able to take a look at that at your leisure. And you can view this page at numerous places places not only at this point here but also on the home page if you remember uh, there was a what's included button there as well uh, but it's just easy to read it's very well laid out uh, one thing to note the snorkel gear floats and rafts there is a charge for the snorkel gear but what you can actually do is take your own snorkeling gear on board you can't take the uh, rafts but you can take your own snorkeling gear and then you can get a courtesy vest from them uh, when you're on Disney's Castaway Key. So you can see that that's the itinerary there. We're gonna click on show two dates because those are the, that's the cheapest cruise. Now you can see here February the 5th and it gives you the pricing there. It's sailing on the Disney Fantasy. And then Disney on the February 19th, you can see it's actually a higher price. It's sailing Saturday to Saturday. But if we look at the 19th, that price has jumped from the lowest price, which is on the 5th, to 4,417 for a standard inside. So it's a little bit more expensive. So what we're gonna do is click on continue for February the 5th because we're on a budget. And it's now gonna pull up that cruise. On this page, it's gonna pull up a nice little map showing where you're gonna be going to. And then as we scroll down, you'll be able to see the itinerary and the all ashore time and all aboard time for each day. Also keep in mind that pricing, itineraries and availability are subject to change and this information was based on a search of Feb on February the 2nd, 2021. Let's now go ahead and click on view state rooms and it's going to ask us to confirm our travel party again. So we've already put in the two adults because it's just the two of us. We're going to confirm the travel party. And now it's going to show us those different state rooms. So again, you've got inside, ocean view, veranda and concierge. Those are just the categories and you'll see to the right the starting from price. Once we click on one of those, our desired one, then it'll give us some more information. So let's go ahead and click on Ocean View. A couple of things to note here are the pricing changes based on what we're selecting, but you're gonna notice something there called Guaranteed. That means that basically you don't get to select your stateroom. 
it's a lower price. For example, you can see the top one there, which starts in the category 9D, is $3,927. Whereas at the very bottom, the Deluxe Ocean View Stateroom is $4,291 for the same, for the very base of uh, price for the um, Deluxe Ocean View Stateroom. Guaranteed means you're guaranteed on the ship in that stateroom category on that sailing. You don't get to select your um, stateroom number or you can, and once you've paid, booked it and paid for it, it's due in full straight away and you can't make any changes to it unless you'll pay extra and upgrade. So if you want to save some money, definitely go for the guaranteed. But if, for example, you need two staterooms, you can't guarantee they'll be together. So you'll want to go for the other option. And you can see that's exactly what I did. So I went with the other option and now we can see there's only three staterooms left on this sailing in this category. Uh, those are the ones that are in blue. Everything else is in white. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the stateroom that I want. Keep in mind the other staterooms may not be available if for example you're a group of five guests sailing in a stateroom. It may be those staterooms can't accommodate your party. Now one thing to note here is if you're looking for a joining stateroom with a connecting door, then you'll see if you look at uh, stateroom 8014 and 8016, you'll see a little gap with a little line. That just denotes that those two staterooms are connecting with a connecting door. And now it's gonna give me some information on that. It's also gonna give me the price breakdown for guests one and two. It's also gonna give me the taxes, fees, and port expenses. You can see at the top there, the category number, one port holes, a brief description, and then I can click add to cart, which is what I'm gonna do. And now it's gonna pull up that sailing, that stateroom into my cart. What that means is that sailing, that stateroom for that sailing is taken out of inventory so nobody else can touch it. I could still add another stateroom if I want by clicking on that link there. There's also some additional information and this is where the price summary is. It's telling me the total cruise price, the amount that I would need to pay by deposit today. I can click on the view terms if I want, what's included. You'll see below the next button, you can modify or cancel without cancellation fee by 11.59 p.m. on October the 8th. That's essentially your final payment due date. We would now need to, to go ahead and finalize the process, go ahead and log into our account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And now that I'm logged in, it's gonna pull in all my information and anybody who's linked to my account. So for example, we're sailing together, so I'll be able to pull up that information. I'm just gonna go ahead and update all the information that it asks for. So once I'm happy with all that information, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And you can see it's pulled up based on my information. It's pulled up my Castaway Club information because I've sailed before. And now it's gonna give me that final page. It's gonna give me all the cruise information and the pricing summary as well. I can also choose to add the Disney vacation, uh, the protection, vacation protection plan um, to the reservation, which I always recommend doing. And you can see it's gonna have guest one and guest two. It's actually gonna have your names there. It's gonna have the price. It's gonna have taxes and fees. It's gonna show the amount due today. No payment's been applied and the remaining balance. So for example, you, and you, it shows you the date that that's due. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and select yes to the vacation protection plan. But this is the important part. So the amount due today, the 812 is the deposit. I could, can if I want, pay it in full right now if I wanted to. There's another amount, so if I wanted to say pay $1,000, I could do that. Or I can place it on a complimentary hold until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time, February 6th. 
basically it locks in that reservation, saves, keeps the price for me, um, and I just have to make the payment by that date, otherwise it goes back into inventory and I lose that price, and if it goes up, it goes up. Here's all the information, and I would click on the terms and conditions and cruise contract if I wanna go ahead and make a payment. But let's go ahead and place this on a complimentary hold. So let's go ahead and click on that hold until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on February the 3rd. And now you can see below that the terms and cruise contract, I need to check that. But the information for my payment has gone away. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on hold staterooms. And it's gonna lock that in for me. It's gonna generate a reservation number which you'll see, uh, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna show it on the page, it's gonna be blurred out, but essentially it's gonna show, thank you, your cruise is confirmed, it gives all that information, it shows the stateroom, and then just to the right, it gives the reservation number, it gives you some additional information on what changes you can make and all that sort of great stuff. In addition, you'll also receive an email with that reservation number, and it'll also give you information on when your payments are due. So let's go back to the home page and at the top we're going to go ahead and sign in to our Castaway Club area. And what you'll notice is on mine I'm going to go ahead and go to my already booked and my reservations. And it's going to show the reservation that I've just placed on a complimentary hold right here. You can see it right there. It's going to show the reservation number, it'll show all the reservation information. And then from there I can do things like make a payment and all that sort of great stuff. Sometimes when you make a reservation, it won't show here and you have to add it to your, um, to your profile. The reason it sometimes doesn't show is if you've called and booked it over the phone and you haven't added your, uh, you, your Castaway Club information. Or if when you were booking, if you remember I signed in and it pulled all my information. If you just created new information, then it's not going to link it. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and link it up. As you can see, I'm just clicking on make a payment because I booked directly through Disney Cruise Line, so that tab is gonna be there. If you book through a travel agent, all your payments will have to be made through the travel agent and you won't even be able to see the, um, the tab there to go ahead and click a payment. But I can go ahead and click on the uh, deposit or full amount or anything like that. But let's go ahead and head back to that previous page. And you see there, add reservations. It gives the, just above that, it gives the cruise that we're gonna be sailing on, the seven night Eastern Caribbean. But if I don't see the cruise, then I need to add it. That add reservation will be there. I simply click on that, put in the confirmation number, the date of birth of one of the guests, and then the last name of one of the guests on the reservation. It can be any other guests in that stateroom. And then I click on the add button, and then it'll pull it through and link it to my profile. And that's all there is to it. We hope you found this video helpful. Do keep an eye out for future videos where we'll be showing how to book port adventures and cruise activities at some point in the future. And also don't forget if you've enjoyed the video to make sure you hit that like button, the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe as well. It really does help the channel. Until next time, we'll see you real soon.